The neonatal ICU at Community Regional Medical Center was recently published in a national research journal after completing a clinical trial that examined how different types of care can impact an infant's health and recovery. Diana Cormier Farah has co-authored multiple medical articles over her years in health care. Recently, an article she co-authored was published in BMC Pediatrics, a peer-reviewed research medical journal. Family-centered care and family-integrated care are very similar philosophically, okay? So they both put the family at the center of the care planning, right? It should be family-focused. The major difference is family-centered care, although it's been a long-held belief, in the neonatal world, there's no structure to it. So there's a vast difference in how it's interpreted in actual care. This specific study enrolled infants from three different types of NICUs to receive usual family-centered care or mobile family-integrated care. So our study was the first family-integrated care study in the United States. The objective was to compare the effects of both care approaches on growth and major morbidities of preterm infants. We were able to show that that care model, family integrated care, when you provide specific opportunities to allow parents to engage, you're going to have improved outcomes for the babies. A mobile app helped bridge the gap for parents, allowing them to stay engaged with education, classes, and even journaling. What was important about that app is the involvement of graduate parents in the development. So there was a lot of input from parents who'd been in the NICU, who'd gone home, who'd said, you know, I wished when I was in the NICU somebody taught me about right. XYZ and parent engagement in education is something Community Regional Medical Center has always encouraged in the NICU, making an impact now worldwide. What we did find is, with our results, that parents who took part in classes and parents who were present at the bedside to participate in clinical rounding the babies of those parents had lower rates of infection and greater weight gain. We had weekly and monthly skills, right, goals. When you come to the unit and you're at your baby's bedside, what do you want to learn today? What do you want to accomplish today? But it's that guiding that encouraging, that feeling of, no, you can do this, you are the parent.